Hi, I'm Zuli. And I'm Harry. We're going to break down how we made, made Speed, speed. <laughs> Harry and I have been working together for like five years now, and he's made almost every Zuli track that's been released so far. He always does really interesting things with his production that I love, and I'm also trying to learn more about production. So this is both a production breakdown and also a lesson for me. Mm -hmm. So we wrote Speed Dial, do you remember? When was it, a year ago? February last year. It was our first song in a while. Bit of a style reset as well, getting onto the break beady girl pop stuff that was blowing up at the time, like Pink Panthers and Eugene. Speed Dial totally like ticks those boxes. We didn't put that much emotional energy in this one, we just had fun with it. And I think that's what the song kind of stands for. Yeah, it's, it's just very, fun. very unserious, just a good time. Okay. okay, we knew we were going to be going a bit quick with the break beats and stuff. The song's 154 BPM. We started out just like fishing for some drum loops and like some sort of melodic element just to like get a first idea of how the song could sound. So we found this electric guitar loop. We didn't even really like use this loop as it was. I had this like bell sound. We use arps a lot, so this was, I think this was an arp preset that we used. I just pulled that guitar loop, dropped it into the bell track, and then Ableton has this cool feature where you can convert an audio loop into its like MIDI components, or it'll try and draw out the MIDI components. And it'll take all that audio and try to recreate it, and then you'll have like a new instrument playing it. This is the result of that. The MIDI for it is absolutely chaotic. <laughs> see where our our, mm. our first loop like kind of came from right? we take that on ties it we remove some of the like really wacky notes that it put in there and that's how we got the intro it really formed the basis for the song I think the first drum loop we got was just browsing breakbeats on supplies this is our main Chopped it up a little bit, but it's pretty much intact. Like added some more snares, added like this like gross kind of kick sound. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize the kick sounded like that. It's got a lot of stuff on it. Cause we've already got like a pretty defined kick in this. So, so this was to just add some color. It's got like devil lock and decapitator, all of those go to saturators. And it gives that kick a real like notey vibe instead of like a transient one. There's one other big loop that comes in, which yeah, I pulled from another production breakdown. The guy who produced this new gene song called Zero, his video came up on my TikTok and I zoomed in to like find this CJ 170 drum loop thing. And it's got some really nice top with a little bit of editing, match it up with our original loop. Bring the tops energy up in there. Oh yeah, I love all the pew pew. You know, we added these like percussions. Always a lot of vibra slap. Cool. All right, so that's yeah, that's the drum. Oh yeah, yeah. So this is just some sticks. Not that much going on with it really, it's just this transposition automation. So yeah, it's just going down and up. The vanilla version just sounds like... Whoa, that's crazy. The second verse has a cool little like ravey build up. Bring it all the way back down. And the chimes, we love the chimes. There's this sort of ravey sound which is also, you can see the MIDI is like also a nightmare. Um, but that's built off the same audio conversion thing, a slightly different edit to like give it that upwards motion. This is a bass that I use all the time, which is just a serum preset. And then for the chorus, it's just like a lot more. There's some like decapitator on it as well and a bit more compression to like fatten it up. The phone pickup. That was a later entry once we kind of had the bones of the track. It's just like... That's just one of those times where you go on YouTube and like listen to a bunch of sound effects. Specific like hanging up the phone on the yeah. cradle. There's a lot of bits where the vocal takes a breath and we'd fill it with a sound effect or a drum fill. Yeah, yeah. And even just... 
like the funny breath. The chops on the chorus were a bit tricky to learn. Ask me where I wanna go. We kind of put a bit of effort into that with the demo vocal, which was like a big part of why we ended up actually using the original demo vocal. Yeah, we recorded well. in a studio and then comped it all together and then I was just like, it just doesn't sound as good. Yeah, like it just I, didn't hit. Piece of advice that I got really early on before I started releasing, that it's important to record vocals where you're comfortable. And I yeah. do find that I'm most comfortable recording vocals when I don't feel there's too much pressure. We ended up comping the demo vocals that we recorded in Harry's home studio into the final vocals for Speed Time. Yeah. So the way that the song runs, it's like the song and then two chorus variations. So there's like a, a like a half time trap one oh, and sorry. then like a really fast one. So that bit sounds like this. I remember the drums particularly were very different here. A lot of like Sophie and Kashmir samples, which will sound very recognizable to anyone who's like into Sophie. But we got like a harp like floating along there and some spooky atmospheric stuff. And we switched to an 808 bass as well, just to like really separate the section. And then it comes back in from half time, it goes Ask me where I wanna go. into like this double time. I'm pretty sure when we did these bits with the vocals, we were kind of fucking around. Yeah, yeah. We were just being of... silly. And that's about it. Yeah, that's speed dial. Kind of a simple song. A lot of like fine touches and stuff. It is just like kind of a fun song yeah, at the yeah. core. It kind of knew what it wanted to be from yeah. that first loop. Anyway, stream speed dial. Thanks for all the love on it so far. We're really happy to be putting music out again. Keep your ears peeled. We got heaps of music coming. And if you have any questions, let us know and we'll... In the comments. Yeah, let us know in the comments. We'll address them if you want to know how Harry made particular sounds. I will ask the dumb questions for you because I am also learning. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye.